Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Room and I uh, thought it would be good to do an updated uh, room tour. Of course, the first thing anyone who's watching this for the first time should know is that this is a shed built in 1977 by my dad. Um, it, was a, it was his gun shed where as a kid I, and he and I used to make our own bullets uh, for his gun collection because he's an Australian pistol shooting champion twice. Uh, he's competed in the World Championship shoots and gotten quite high up there. Um, and he's done rifle, and, and I obviously grew up, you know, basically thinking my dad was like Dirty Harry, because, you know, we'd always be going to the gun range, gun ranges all over Adelaide, and um, having a ball. So this is basically where he stored his guns, had all his, you know, equipment, and we had all these, uh, the benches were basically for gun loading, uh, bullet loading machines, and all sorts of different machines to make bullets, and what not else uh, we had DuPont um, powders in here gun powders and all sorts of guns and things but um, in the 80s it got changed and in the 90s I really took over and have taken this a fair way uh, I've actually as you may notice if you haven't watched my videos for a, two years or so I have down downsized massively from a 3000 3200 level collection to about 400 VHS and beta combined about 200 250 laser disc and um, a reasonable a small number of DVDs and blu-rays and the reason for that is simply that I want to display as much of what I have face out than have 3,000 tapes and 200 laser discs and probably 100 150 blu-rays and DVDs combined and just have them all side on so, and also there was still a market for VHS and beta, so I've sold a lot and uh, made a significant amount of money, which is good. Some of them sold cheap, some of them sold for a lot, some of them sold, a few sold for a lot. But, okay, I'm going to go through and just show you what I've done, what this place is looking like right now. So first of all, Stranger Things poster. This is just something that was in Target um, for like 10 bucks. Got that laminated at Officeworks. Um, my awesome Ford vs. Ferrari alternate poster. Um, I love this thing. I love that movie. I've watched it probably eight, nine, ten times already. Absolutely love it. Um, a modern um, Rampage arcade machine. Marquee. Pac-Man. Uh, glow in the dark Pac-Man. It changes colours when you plug it in with a USB cable. My Bruce Lee collection DVD set from Hong Kong or somewhere. Of course, my Jaws laser discs. Most of my Jaws laser discs anyway. Um, gaming, gaming, uh, well, retro gaming console systems, uh, their games. So starting with Intellivision, Burger Time being a personal favourite. The uh, iMagic ones were f particularly familiar to me as a kid. I had most of these, and um, I've sold them and then got most of them back. Um, Intellivision is my first. It was my second ever console. First console was a Hanamex Triple Seven, I believe it was, which was like a Pong unit, which had seven games and a light gun. Shark Shark, of course, big big fan of that. That's actually a really great game. Um, this was a great era in um, in home home retro gaming. Actually, it was really good back then. So, Afterburner. Come on, 64, Wonder Boy on the 64, Double Dragon, the original Melbourne House release, um, some other Intellivision stuff here. Now this one here, Motocross, you may have seen me mention this before in the past. Um, this is made by the guys who ended up doing a Race and Destruction set after that for the Commodore 64, which is one of my absolute top, top five games for the Commodore 64, and I've played it. I had played it from 1984-85 to about 2017-18. haven't played it since. But I will be playing it again at some point. I don't use my Commodore 128D enough. So that's the predecessor. Um, so more on television stuff. Let me get into the 360. I didn't have a Xbox One or 360 originally. I got the 360 specifically for Forza Motorsport 4. And as you can tell, I've got four copies. This game is something I still continue to play to this day and will never stop. Um, yeah, so there's some, my favourite Master System game. Then we've got Super Skid Marks, my favourite game for the Mega Drive. Mortal Kombat on Mega Drive. Some more Mega Drive games here. I haven't got a lot, just a few. Then some PS2 stuff, some retro, bit of Jaws. 
And, you know, racing stuff. Some of the stuff's a bit average. Ford Racing 3 is pretty cool. I love Flat Out. I had that on PC for a long time. Different Destructions, that's good. So all these games, this is now the game wall rather than the horror wall. Um, because they fit in here much nicer. Um, PS1 games. Then we've got an art, the arcade book. The Game Boy box only. The Commodore 120, uh, Commodore data set. The Wicco Command Control, um, what's it called, trackball, which wasn't for the 64, it was for the things before that. Another retro arcade, little mini arcade thing. Super Nintendo Glass, my Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, it's a few little boxed, a few boxed uh, Super Nintendo games, of course my actual info cartridge. And then moving on, I might have to do a whole series of videos to get this done. Um... The Tar Man from Return of the Living Dead Part 1, I think, and 2. Just bought this the other day. Little Batman, J Jada Toys, um, Batmobile. Love the background. It's great. Of course, Friday the 13th Part 3, Jason with the pitchfork. Um, but didn't, it came with that and some other things and I actually put that in his hand. Um, Scooby-Doo stuff. We've got the British release of the first and second seasons and the movies, which are currently playing right now on DVD and my... Stupid audio system's gone again. Or have I turned it down too far? I can't remember. No, it's just down low. My um, speaker's been giving me some trouble. Uh, so, moving on. So, an original karate champ marquee from Arcade. Um, I've got some pops. I'm not really into the pops that much, but i got to say I, I had to get these. For 20 bucks, I'm pretty happy with that. 18, 19 bucks, whatever they are. My 1996.8 Firebird diecast model. I hope to one day to own one of these. Probably a 2002 though, if I can. Got a couple of AU Falcons. I actually own the full size version of that. Um, I did have this coupe, this colour, and those. And then of course, just recently got this mystery machine from Jada Toys as well. And all I need now is for my little figurines is a Freddy. My school school VHS. I have an original lead lemonade bottle from the 70s or the 80s, definitely the 80s, maybe even the 70s, done by Coca-Cola before they changed it to Sunkist or whatever the hell it was. Bunch of, bunch of Blu-rays, Amityville 3 poster, The Fog, uh, the Studio Canal print uh, remaster poster, love that. Cost four vs Ferrari, all these discs of course. Uh, what else we got here? We've got an LG DVD VHS combo. The VHS side doesn't work anymore. It was pretty average quality. PlayStation 2. Bunch of some laser discs, some Japanese ones especially. Bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays. Starsky and Hutch poster, original. Uh, more posters, of course. This one here signed by Charles Cyphers himself. The Wraith, Jewel, Creep Critters, Sweet 16, Monster Squad. And down here, my friend from America, Chris, sent me this, which is a Yahtzee game, Jaws Yahtzee game, which is really cool. The uh, latest modern um, jigsaw puzzle thing. Uh, retro arcade, little mini arcades. I love Gallagher, I love Karate Champ, and then of course Burger Time. One of my most prized possessions in here. Is this redo? It's uh, it's a re well, it's not a re reproduction, but it's uh, originally George Barris brought out a, a version of the car from the movie The Car from 1977 uh, in the 118th scale. I didn't actually buy that. I should have. It got really expensive, and then last year or the year before, Auto World released this. It's really cool, and if you haven't seen the movie The Car, you should watch it. It's it's Universal A. It's well, it's a. A grade production from Universal, but the actual movie is probably more of a B film. But I just love it. I think it's an absolute classic. The smaller version of the last of the V8 Interceptors from uh, Mad Max. A couple of Shelby Cobra, uh, sorry, Shelby uh, GD40 race car replicas, little minis. Um, the original Jaws Disco Vision from 1978, the first laser disc ever released. All that sort of stuff. And then moving on. Bunch of posters again. Bruce Lee uh, cardboard cutout from uh, BruceLee.com, which is Shannon Lee's company and website. A couple of Lerva TVs. Bunch of consoles, TVs. 
This is my main VHS Betamax display area. I love this. I might change it at some point, but I just love it. Uh, Laser disc poster. I absolutely love the movie Alligator. This is the French poster for it. I think it's wicked. Okay. Um, now, the In Search of Darkness series of documentaries has come out from Creator VC, I think it's called. And I bought all of those discs. I think they're magnificent. It's a great thing about 80s horror. There's four hours on each disc. It's magnificent. Just really good stuff. Commodore 64 and an Amiga 500. The 64 works. The disc drives I've got don't seem to work anymore. Um, but I might get them fixed at some point. The Amiga I'll get set up eventually. The original Sony C6 Betamax. Um, over here we've got a... SLVX822 VHS currently running the Pioneer CLD2950 laser disc player which I've had since 2000 so I've had this for 21 years and thank touch wood I've not had one one need to service it which is bloody impressive PS2 this is the pin this is the best model of the fats that came out and it's really reliable it's still running like a dream I actually got it for free which is awesome Pioneer amp from 1986, another laser disc player which has died, power's died on it. Original Xbox, my Xbox 360 for Forza, Star Wars edition, multi-region DVD Blu-ray player, PS2. Under here is my Commodore 128D computer from West Germany, well it's made in West Germany. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, I've been sneezing all day. Um, Panasonic CRT widescreen TV, a switch box, Pioneer CLD D5115, that is a laser player that still works, and my beautiful mint condition Sony SLHF100E Super uh, Betamax Hi Fi machine, modded Xbox machine with 15,000 original retro and arcade games on it combined. Wrapped up here is my Super Nintendo, the better of the two. My original Mattel and television console from 1981, which I've had all that time. It is currently not really working. I've put cartridges in it a few years ago and it was working fine. Put them in recently and all I'm getting is a black screen. So I'm really annoyed at that, but it'll get sorted at some point. The Master System 2 with Wonder Boy inbuilt. I love that game and so is my ex-girlfriend, who I might be getting back together with at some point. Maybe, maybe not. Um, see how that goes. Uh, Samsung TVs, little CRTs, Commodore 64 games, all in here, plus utilities. Some utilities in there, some discs. Most of my remote controls. <laughs> in here, got PS2 games, copy ones, which I didn't do, but I got them with a with a machine. Um, little all sorts of goodies in there. Some more controllers. This is a book from no, 2003 with my Grand Turismo 3 setups uh, with gear ratios and torque, um, caster, camber, and um, spring and shock setups. A uh, whole book full of them. I spent ages doing that, so I'm using that to for the cars on Forza to get the setups right. Um, righto. In here, we've got boxes for the 360. Another uh, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox original that I want to get modded. My PS2 box for the modern ones, my disk drives. And the original under here, we've got a Sansui amplifier, my dad's one from 1972. And the 1972 Philips VCR format machine called the N1500. This is the original model. It's been hardwired in, so the cable's been cut. I will probably never get this thing running, but I will clean it up and get it just as a display piece one day out on the shelf. Um, one of my nicest VHS machines I ever bought, which is the SLVX810. It's not running perfectly, it needs a service, but it does work well enough to be able to record onto the disc, onto this beautiful Panasonic DMR EX79 um, DVD recorder, which is really great. I've also got, recently, a PlayStation 1, which is, has its own screen... And if you plug it into a TV like this guy, which I've done, it'll run on the TV as well. But if you're away from it, you can do that. It's a little PS1. So that's pretty cool. That's a cool little thing. I love that. And my favourite PlayStation 1 game is Road Rash. 
Um, nice Toshiba TV, nothing special, just a 1080p one. Uh, Commodore 1084 monitor from our Amiga. Um, good old Kelvinator fridge, Aussie made fridge from about 1996, which is still going. And yeah, movies, laser discs, some tapes. I love this, the Necker Toys Friday the 13th Part 3 3D uh, thing with the little bits and pieces in there. Well, that's probably it for this video. I'll show you some more in another one soon. Ciao.